you feel about your husband? Just one question, Is it true the expedition was in order? No, no, no. Give my lord. No, please, my sister is very tired. What is it true the expedition was unauthorized? What are your plans? Are you going to set up a rescue mission? Any possibility of finding him alive? This is Malaysian state radio. Do you have any statement? No, no, no statement. All efforts of the search parties in the Marapata jungle have proved unavailing, and we have decided to call off the search. I'm sorry. Your uh, husband's expedition, as the chief of police has already told you, was not authorized by the authorities of independent Guinea, and therefore they had no kind of contact with him, not even by radio. Your husband was carrying out his ethnological investigations without our knowledge or permission. When your brother informed us of Mr. Stevenson's disappearance, we intervened. If our search was a bit tardy, that's not our fault. I waited here at Port Moresby one month or more until the established date for him to return. Also, as you know, my brother-in-law has a profound knowledge of that area. So I had no real motive to be worried about him. You can never know the jungle well enough. This clandestine expedition was imprudent apart from being an insult to our government. My brother-in-law is a world-famous scientist. I think your government should show special interest in locating his expedition. Air search parties have been out, looking for signs of life in the jungle for several days. If they were perhaps still alive, they'd have surely attempted some signal. Maybe they weren't able. In the jungle so dense, there's no real chance to see anything. We have to organize an expedition to go into the jungle. Look, please keep calm. We have every intention of helping you to find Henry Stevens. But now it's up to the local authorities to organize help and make all decisions in the matter. We have done all we can. Please help me. I don't know if Henry's still alive. But until I'm certain that he's dead, I'll keep on looking for him. Even if I have to do it alone. I understand how you feel. But it's my duty to be honest. If we have given up, it is because we are certain that after three months in that jungle, there could not possibly be any survivors. I'm sorry, Consul Burns, but I have to leave. Of course, and thank you. Sir, Mrs. Stevenson? I think the only person who could help you is Professor Edward Foster. He's a Yank. He's a strange man, and he has an expert knowledge of the area. I suggest you contact him. Arthur's been in touch with him already. We're seeing him tomorrow. Excuse the informality of my house, but Mother Nature has a way of taking over here, and I don't feel like arguing with her. Henry often mentions you in his letters. He has great respect for you. Thank so you. I'm very happy to meet you. Likewise. Your husband and I were very close friends. We shared a mutual interest in the primitive peoples of this country. Of course, that world is rapidly disappearing. Eventually, progress in technology will destroy it completely. Tell me. Do you have any idea where Henry could be? I'm not sure. He was very reserved about this particular expedition. Strange. He told me he was going. I offered my help, but before I knew it, he was gone. As far as I know, he left alone, maybe with a few natives. I just can't understand why he was so secretive about his expedition, and especially with you. 
Yes, I thought about that myself. But you know, just because he was so secretive about this journey gives me a strong indication of where he might be. Come. Now this is the Marabata jungle, the area where they say Henry disappeared. Now look, about five miles offshore is the island of Roca. Now this island is covered by a very dense jungle which surrounds and protects the sacred mountain of Rao Rami. Sacred, because the local people and the natives believe that the mountain is cursed. And that's where he went. And you've kept quiet about it all this time? What are you talking about? Arthur, please go on. Mrs. Stevenson, there's something I think you should know. A few years ago, I was on that island myself. Shortly afterwards, I told Arthur and Henry about my experiences there. Henry seemed fascinated by them. Yes, I think I remember now. Henry told me one of his letters about uh, a mountain that people said had a curse on it. I thought it was just a silly superstition. You'd be surprised how important that belief is to those people. The police won't allow expeditions into the Marabata jungle. They don't want anybody near that island. They say it's because of conservation reasons. But the truth of the matter is, they're afraid of the curse too, just like everybody else. How did you manage to go there? It's a long story, Mrs. Stevenson. It was purely by chance, really. I was on a sailing trip not far off the coast of the island. I hit a storm. Before I knew it, I was shipwrecked on the beach. Because I knew about the legend of the curse, naturally, I was curious. I wanted to get to the top of that mountain. I never made it. What stopped you? Some mysterious force. That's about all I can say. Oh, come on. You still believe in that nonsense? Yes. Are you really convinced that Henry has gone to that mountain? I think there's a good chance. One thing for sure, he didn't get lost in the Marabata. He knew that jungle too well. I would like you to organize an expedition to the island of Rocca. Arthur and myself will come with you. Are you serious? Yes. It's hard enough for a man, for a woman, it would be nearly impossible. My husband is missing, and I'm prepared to do anything to find him. I also have the courage to undertake such a trip. And the money as well. Why does he look at me in that strange way? I don't like it. Don't worry, he's just shy. 
He's very faithful to me. Look, I'm afraid we'll have to carry our own baggage for a few miles. We'll pick up some extra help from the local natives somewhere between here and the coast. Ready? Okay, might it be done. Lucky, you know that? It's extremely poisonous. First you get a fever. That lasts for about three days, then you die. So from now on, I suggest you watch where you're going and always keep someone behind you. You're leading the expedition. How was I to know? You do now. Maraba Zupakan. now? You better have a nice long talk with your brother before he causes any more trouble. Don't try to put her against me. Don't try to break this expedition up. I won't let you. If we reach the mountain, we'll reach it together. The three of us. Well then, if you care to join me, I suggest we get going. We may reach the coast by tomorrow night, if we're lucky. Mari, Mari. while we prepare the boat. We'll be there before... When are we going to leave? Tonight. We'll be there before dawn. 
currents will help us across. Honey, Soto, get under cover to Cuddy. Be careful, don't trust him too much. other bodies. Better have a look around. Day, day, hurry up. Yeah. He was a leper. The natives believe that lepers are children of the devil. Maybe they killed him because of that. Come over here. It's Henry's. See, I had his crest put on. I gave it to him a few years ago. But I was right. He did come this way. He must have been heading to the mountain. Let's keep looking. Arthur, that way. Okay. Masaro, let's go. come with me. You go there. You follow me. didn't find anything. Nothing. Deflate the boat and hide it. Let's hope we will find it when we come back. Ubagaba! <laughs> I was wrong. 
Robert Akatusi. The bearers were awake at dawn. They say he wasn't here. He's run away, the bastard. No. Osawa wouldn't run away. Besides, where would he go? He might have taken the boat. But the beach is too far. He was scared. Yes, but he's not a coward. And he knows the jungle too well. He would never travel alone, especially at night. Then where is he? I don't know. Well, now we're one man short. It's not going to be easy without him. Maybe we should turn back. We got the compass. And it's in all our interest to reach the mountain, especially yours. What do you mean? I mean that it's not just the thought of finding a friend that is urging up the mountain, is it? Arthur! Edward! Are you hiding something from me? Your brother's a complete neurotic. Even your husband had to abandon him because he couldn't trust him. I didn't trust you very much either. That's enough. Stop it. Why can't you realize? I want to find my husband, that's all. That's why we have to get to that mountain. Susan is right. We all want only to find Henry. All right. But I don't want to hear any more of your insinuation. You understand? Let's break camp. Mari Piki time. Yana. Bamboo. We must be near the water. This way. Right on target. The mountain is across the river. We have to build a raft. The turn in the Kirijia. Now to do Padang.
Are you looking for this? Huh. It's I can help you. You actually took part in their rituals. Yes. And it was horrible. But I was forced to do it. I had no choice. From that time, I've, I've completely changed. I'm no longer the same person. I live in this constant nightmare. Sometimes I think I'm going completely crazy. be able to help you, but I... I know. I've never told anybody about this experience. I've been too afraid, too ashamed. But, you know, I sincerely believe that if I can just get to that mountain, and find a way. And there is a way to destroy every last one of those cannibals. Perhaps then. Perhaps then. You'll wake up from your nightmare. Yes. Yes. It's not wise for you to go around alone. Why not? You're safe enough here. Take my advice. Manolo! Wait! What is it? It's been a very, very hard trip. And now without bears, we'd never make it. Will you take us up, River? Please help us. To get to the mountain, you have to get past the rapids and waterfalls. It's almost impossible. And the jungle is too dense. Are you afraid the book still exist? knows. The truth is at the top of the mountain. Will you come with me? of some herbs in those gourds. On contact with saliva, there is a chemical reaction which transforms it into a very potent liquor. What does Father Moses think of it? He pretends not to notice. Moses has been living at the mission for 30 years. Perhaps at the beginning he was stricter about things, but not today. <laughs>
This is to bring you happiness. Answer me today when I ask you to come with me. Will you come? Two years ago, I came out here alone. I think I've always had a flair for adventure. So I thought, why not the jungle? I wanted to test myself. I thought here I had reached the end of the world, but it's not true. There is an even more distant people. More mysterious, more terrible. The challenge isn't over yet. We go alone. Just the two of us. No one must know. And the others? I don't know. I don't trust them anymore. There is something going on I don't understand. But if you help me... They're all down by the river performing the funeral rites. Vancho and Shura will be buried together. It's not my fault. She came to me, she, last night. And so the spear hit her instead of me, but it wasn't my fault. There's something I must tell you. When I escaped from the Puka village, I wasn't alone. The young boy that I cured came with me. He was... Azaro, why did he disappear? Why did he want to kill us? His tribe. I believe they finally met up with him. Bullshit. You yourself saw their village completely destroyed. Not completely. Suppose some of them survived. I'll tell you what happened. Azaro tried to stop us from going to his mountain. He was a puka. The last of them. And now he's dead. And I'm ready to move on towards the mountain. So am I. Edward, with that wound, I think you should stay here. Manolo will come with us. I don't think Edward wants to miss all the fun. Do you, Edward? Let's hit the road.
You have brought vice and death to my mission. Nobody has ever attacked us in all these years. And now it's happened. But it was you they wanted to kill. Not my peaceful people. You show them adultery, fornication. And this is the result. Should I avenge you are dead. They will never again be among us. Now, go. I don't wish to see any of you again. Go, all of you. Forever. Forever. Satisfy them, he uses more subtle means. Lying, trickery. The wound is infected. All I can do is have these worms draw off some of the bad blood. He's burning off. It was madness to let him come. If he insisted on coming along, it means he has his own very good reason. That's right. I have mine, you have yours. Just as Henry had his. What's yours? You want the truth? Your husband knew that Raromi possessed resources that could make him rich beyond imagination. But he wanted it all for himself. So he left without telling me and came here alone. That's not true. Henry would never do such a thing. It is true. Fortunately, I, I don't care about money. But Susan, I promise you, your husband's reasons for coming here were not in the interests of science. Edward's right. Henry only thought about himself. I'm sure he wanted to cheat us all. Ow! Ow! That's enough. I've heard all I can take from you. Don't move! I don't kill animals. I suppose I ought to thank you.
Yeah, I think so. Let's go. Climb up there. I'm going back. Manolo! Manolo, I have to find them. Don't leave me now. Please, let's go.
ritualistic designs. Left for us, I'd say. Let's go up and have a look. No, I feel like a rest. I'll wait for you here. remains are fresh. So they still exist. Well, let's go back to Arne. He shouldn't be alone. The Geiger counter has gone crazy. Be careful if it's not radioactive. It's uranium. High percentage uranium. It's incredible. We found it. Henry's maps were right. We'll be rich, Arthur. Rich. Just like you said. This will bring me happiness. You like Foster. Believe that story about the faithful wife looking for her lost husband. Didn't you, Manolo? Henry tried to keep us out of it. But we knew he was coming here for the uranium. So I had to convince Foster that I was only here to look for my husband. Otherwise, he would never have helped us. So the search was just an excuse. Henry cheated me. He also was going to leave me. It's not my fault he disappeared. My God, you're without limits, both of you. I see now why you let Foster die. He was a poor idealist. He wanted to exploit all this wealth only for a crazy humanitarian purpose. At least his values were higher than yours. He had little interest in money. Well, that's all you seem to care about. For the moment, yes. We can sell this information to the great powers. You will be rich. You too, if you help us. Help you to exploit this island and its people? Help you to destroy the forests and bring your so-called progress to a place like this? No. Stay where you are. Put your rifle down. You'll help us to collect samples, then you're going to take us back. Understand? Oh! Ah!
schon hin. Hakudaba! made him into a god. They, they probably thought the Geiger counter was his heart. Proof of his immortality. Now you're the god's woman. The fact of the photograph would be something supernatural for people like this.
Yay! 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 
think I found a way out. There's a tree trunk over there. Let's use the current. Let's try and get you back home, huh? 